Hi, um, welcome to the Brief at a Nursery in uh, Citizen in the Mediterranean foothills of the Pyrenees. Uh, we grow um, approximately 50 or more uh, species of liverwort, lichen and moss. And today I want to talk to you about this glorious and beautiful uh, species of moss. It's called spiral apple moss. And it, of course, apple moss because of the amazing, vibrant, uh, like uh, I think it's called uh, the, the Granny Smith kind of color um, uh, moss. And it has a red stem which, uh, because this is uh, actually um, the the most vibrant uh, moss at the top here, is new growth. Um, you you can't see very clearly the red stem, but uh, the older moss you can see uh, there is the uh, the red stem, especially when um, the uh, the leaves are, are very moist. So this is a um, high humidity and a, a full light uh, moss. It enjoys uh, full light. It's a partial shade. Um, oh, gorgeous. Here we have uh, a spore capsule and, and the spore capsules are very very pretty you can you can see the the red um no, i'm gonna get this word wrong stimmen <laughs> the uh the stem of the spore capsule but they make these beautiful little apple shaped uh uh spore capsules which are uh just beautiful and and pretty soon that's what this whole this this the, the this whole piece is gonna go is gonna start to spore um, uh, because of the temperature change. Um, uh, when, when we go from uh, winter to, um, to spring and it starts to warm up and go into summer, uh, then you'll have this uh, going into uh, s um, spore capsules. So it propagates with both uh, capsules, but it's an extremely easy moss to propagate. Um, because, I mean, as you can see here, it grows into extremely thick um, cushions um, that love to have running water going through them. Um, it's, it doesn't have to have running water. Uh, high humidity um, will also um, give you a nice big cushion like this. Uh, but um, if you can see here, it's extremely easy to propagate. Um, and... Um, some people say cut all the cut all the the old roots off uh, moss when you propagate them. Um, that's not true. Uh, it depends on the species, and also the moss would actually propagate itself from the old uh, roots. So you're actually wasting <laughs> um, quite a lot of material to propagate with when you do that. Um, so, but as you can see here. Uh, anywhere where the light hits it, as I said, this is a full light moss. So anywhere where there, it, when it's humid enough and light hits it, new growth will grow. And because this piece was taken from a, a larger sheet and has been sitting in my, in my moss basin for now, oh, maybe two, three weeks, um, it's already started to produce new growth. Um, everywhere. Um, I also this is like this is also like a moss that I propagate on on my moss. Uh, this is this is gonna be a big sheet. So I did this about yeah two three weeks ago, and as you can see here, um, I'm uh, I'm waiting for new growth to come from all of these old roots and the as you can see new growth uh from the from the tips as well and it's already starting to grow upwards it will want to grow upwards vertically um and uh so this is this is a moss you can easily attach to uh plastic sheets like like this this is not the same moss um 
but a uh, plastic sheet like this you can attach the moss to it and hang it vertically it'll grow extremely well and actually using uh, the old roots as a uh, substrate uh, for a very long time it just produces its own substrate from its uh, reusing its uh, its old um, stem its old roots there you go so this uh, amazing moss can be used in vivariums especially when it's a big thick carpet like the one you've seen uh, here that um, that we grew um, th it's extremely sturdy so so any kind of animal uh, any kind of animal going over it insect snake uh, lizard can uh, won't rip this apart it's very good for vivariums extremely beautiful in any kind of water feature let's say a, a little waterfall a little uh, cascade you know in a in a um terrarium uh ex exterior use living walls uh like i said it's a full light to partial shade moss you can really use this as a vibrant green color in many moss projects and there you go um Spiral Apple Moss. Um, and you can find this moss on our little Etsy shop. Um, and uh, I'll put the link to our little Etsy shop on the, in the notes section. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, yeah, I think I've covered this moss. Any, any other information that you think you might need, just ask. Um, so thank you for watching. This is the Rear Fitter Nursery um, in Sebazan, Pyrenees, foothills of the Pyrenees, Mediterranean. <laughs> like if you like, subscribe if you wish to. You've got lots of more videos to come. And uh, yeah, just an amazingly, amazingly beautiful moss, this one. As is all moss. I love moss. <laughs> okay, bye. Take care.